Hi, my name is Karthik. I am a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I want to talk about Elementor Cloud. As you all may know, Elementor already is the best website builder and page builder. It runs on top of WordPress. Now they have their own hosting solution and it can take up to 100k monthly visits. It doesn't need any maintenance, meaning you don't need to install any caching plugin. You don't need to configure any CDN. It's built right into it. And best of all, even the backups are automatically taken for your convenience. Now, this is totally for beginners and mid range users who don't want to manage their websites, who don't want to get into the business of managing all the fuss behind the websites. And it's everything is built on top of Google Cloud. And I'll give you a brief overview of how Elementor Cloud works, how you can add your custom domain and how you can build a WordPress website using the same Elementor experience that you love to design and customize your WordPress websites. Now you can build your WordPress websites on the very platform that is responsible for designing your websites, which is really neat. Click on the first link in the description and that will take you to the Elementor Cloud page. Now you need to purchase Elementor Cloud apart from your Elementor Pro plan. Check out with that and once you're done with that, you'll be taken to your dashboard, right? You can simply log in or just log in with your credentials. And in your Elementor dashboard, which is at my.elementor.com, you'll see the section called websites. And in here, you can see there are all my websites which are actually handled by Elementor Pro. That means I have Elementor Pro license active on all these sites. Some of them local and some of them on other third party sites. And there's something called hosted by Elementor. This is where you create your cloud website. On the right hand side, there's a button called create website. I'll just click that. Let's give my site a name. I'll just call it Karthik Rajnala, which is my name, right? And I'll just click on next. And at the moment, they'll temporarily give you a domain which is accessible with this. So you can type HTTPS anything. Let's try something new. I'll just try to use my name itself. I'll just click on check domain availability. Now this is not a custom domain. This is hosted on Elementor Cloud for free. You can connect your custom domain which I'll show you in a bit. And this is available which is karthik.elementor.cloud. So I'll use this. I'll click on create website and the second step is done. You can of course change your website name later and the domain is one per plan. You can connect your custom domain later. And remember all of the things are handled by Elementor itself. So you can see all these things in action. So it's setting up my WordPress dashboard, installing WordPress, configuring everything that I need. I'll just wait and see what happens. And it also shows me that it's supplying a basic theme to my website. That's pretty cool. Which is basically hello theme, right? Because it works best with Elementor Pro. And above, it's asking me to wait a little longer because it might take a moment. I'll just wait. And just like that, my site is ready. I'll just click on let's go. And just like that, it's active in here. As you can see, my website is ready. And when I hover over my website, or you can simply filter this by hosted by Elementor. When you click on it, only the website that you put on Elementor Cloud will be shown. All will basically show you all the websites on which your Elementor Pro subscription is active. I'll just click on hosted by Elementor. And this is my site. And when I hover over it, there are a couple of options. One is open WP dashboard that will take you where you can log in with your credentials. Second one is edit with Elementor. And the third one is called manage this website. This is where all the magic happens, all the configuration happens, right? Most of the things are automatically done for you. So you can do additional things by clicking this option. Okay. So when I click on hosted by Elementor, it's filtered. Now I have three options. One is open WP dashboard. When you click on that, it will take you to your WordPress dashboard from which you can log in, right? I'll get to that in a bit. You can click on edit with Elementor that will take you to the Elementor editing interface where you can build your whole website or design your whole website with Elementor Pro. So down here you have the option. It This is the link of my website that you need to copy in the browser to visit it. 
it shows that it's an Elementor Cloud website. It has an ID and you can view your subscription right down below. You can see manage domains from which you can connect your custom domain. SSL is provided by Elementor. So you don't have to worry about the renewal of SSL certificate. It's handled by Elementor, right? You can also add a new domain or custom domain by clicking on this plus button. You can refresh domain connection by clicking on this, right? Or you can add a custom domain even there's a button in here it shows that dns records at the moment are in belgium that's because i'm using elementor's own domain which is karthik.elementor.cloud you can connect something such as your own domain such as karthikrajnala.com which i am going to show you in a bit and it shows all the records a name c name a record and c name so we'll get to connecting domain in a bit right then there's something called site lock what does this mean well when you're working on a website and when someone tries to access your website, so I just typed karthik.elementor.cloud. This is the same even for your custom domain. You can now see that it says this website is hidden right now and I need to enter a pin to view the website. This is really handy when you're actually working on your website and don't want your clients or unnecessary visitors to view your website. This is all they see unless and until they're logged in, they can simply just see this but admins or other authors can simply log in. You can also view your pin by clicking here. You can also reset it by clicking in here. You can enter any custom pin and under the hood, you can see that the backups are automatically taken every 24 hours. This is automatic and you don't have to install another third party backup plugin. Well, in fact, most of the third party backup plugins such as WP Vivid are not compatible with Elementor Cloud. That's because they don't have to be. You can simply create a new backup by clicking on new backup. Give it a name and click on create backup. It's simple if you want a backup on your own or you can simply follow the backups that are automatically taken. You can simply click on restore to restore your website to any of the backups. It's that simple. And you can also reset WP login items. I think they're mostly 20 login items. If they're not entering right admin name and password, they'll be blocked. That IP address, you can no longer log in. You can reset that by clicking here. So this is a brief overview of the Elementor controls that you get in here. But if you want to reach your website, you can simply click on open WP dashboard at the top. Since I'm logged in in this, it will take me to the dashboard and I can view my website just like that. And just like that, I see my whole website, right? I can see all the plugins and it gives me a quick tour, right? I'll definitely use a website kit. I'll use that in a bit. I'll close this for now. Okay, before I proceed with my website, I want to connect my custom domain, right? You see this thing? We'll do that. In order to connect your custom domain, you need to have a custom domain. Click on the second link in the description and that will take you to namecheap.com. Search for the domain that you need. Domain is like karthik.com, incomegaze.com, digitalalgorithm.com. Search for it, purchase it and check out with that. And in your dashboard, you'll find this domain list. Now under this, I just want to connect karthikrajnala.com to Elementor Cloud. So there's a button called manage. Click that next to your domain name and there's something called advanced DNS. Click on that. Now I'll just click on add custom domain in my Elementor cloud dashboard and it shows a record. I'll just copy this and that will copy it to clipboard. Under advanced DNS in Namecheap, we just need to add a new record. There's a button called add new record. I'll just click that and that is a record and host just type at the rate and IP address just paste whatever you've copied from Elementor and let this be automatic and check this box. And once you check that box, that record will be added, right? And once you add this record in your domain register, so wherever you purchase this domain from, this can be Namecheap, this can be GoDaddy, this can be anything. You can purchase your domain, but I recommend Namecheap. I personally use it for all my projects. Once you add a record with the IP value, it's time to add another record. Now click on add new record. Scroll down, you see something called CNAME record. Host name should be www and target 
should be this. You can find that in the dashboard. Just click this to copy it to the dashboard, which is your cloud name. And that is karthik.elementor.cloud in my case. And this you can set it to one hour. I think that's what Elementor recommends. But you can also leave it automatic. I think that should work just fine. So once you add all these details, in your case, you'll just add your own Elementor Cloud address, whatever john.elementor.cloud, whatever it is, you'll just add that in here. This value will be www. So basically, your normal karthikrajnala.com, which is my custom domain, points to karthik.elementor.cloud. You also want the www version 2.2 the same as well. So that's what we're doing here. And once you are done with this, just click on checkbox. You can simply click on got it and next. Enter your custom domain name, paste. So that is my domain. You can set it as primary domain. Of course, I'll set it as primary domain. I'll also create www.karthikrajnala.com, right? And I'll just click on add domain. And it shows that it might take 48 hours. Usually it takes mostly up to four hours or so. And once the domain is connected to your Elementor Cloud website, you'll get an email confirming the same. And also once the domain is added to Elementor Cloud, an SSL certificate will automatically be added by Elementor itself. You don't have to work on it. All of this is automatic. I'll just click on done and wait for the email. And I'll resume this video once I get the email. Okay, I actually waited for like five to 10 minutes and I got this email saying that the custom domain is now added successfully to my Elementor Cloud. And this is how you'll get an email too, right? Once it's successful. So once it's successful, you can log out from Namecheap and you can also log out from anything else. You can simply refresh your dashboard or refresh this page itself. You can see that there's an SSL symbol right next to my custom domain. And that means SSL certificate has already been issued to karthikrajnala.com. Now we got an email confirmation saying that our domain is active on Elementor Cloud. You can also check that by typing your domain directly in any browser. I just typed karthikrajnala.com and you get the same screen that you get with karthik.elementor.cloud. And that means your website is now up and running on Elementor Cloud. You can simply edit this website and all the changes will be available at karthikrajnala.com. It's that simple. So let's build or let's design our website now. I'll close this off. Okay, now it's time to work on our website. So I'll just click on open WP dashboard and that will take us to our Elementor Cloud website. And it asks me to connect Elementor Pro. I'll just click on connect and activate. When you purchase Elementor Cloud, you also get an activation key to that. So it's automatic. Just click on connect and activate and that will connect it. Just click on activate. And once the activation is successful, you'll get this message saying license has been successfully activated. If you face any error at any time during this process, you can simply contact their support. Support is also built in, right? It's all inclusive. Again, you don't need to install a backup plugin. You don't need to install a caching plugin because it's all built into this cloud. They're doing it on their own and it can handle traffic like a, like a champ using CDN. So you don't even need Cloudflare, let's say for this website, you can simply build your website. All right. So I'll close this message. Now you can go to templates. You can click on kit library and build a complete website just like that. So these are wire wireframes. I'll choose creative for now. Maybe I'll pick this domain or this template kit. Remember template kit is basically a whole website designed pre-designed for you. You just need to customize it the way you want. You can customize and edit every part of it and every kit is responsive. You can click on the devices to preview all of it. I'll click on apply kit and that will basically apply all of the elements of this kit on my site, right? I'll click on enable any pop up, just enable or OK it and the kit will be set up. I'll just wait for some time. I'll wait for the import to be finished. Once the import is complete, you'll see this. So you can simply, I'll simply close it. Let's close this off. Again, you can go to templates and you can go to theme builder to see all of your website in a nutshell. And this is how your whole website will look like. We don't have a menu, we'll create that. 
right we'll also add a logo all right so let's customize a few parts of it and let's make this actual working website so i'll go to appearance i'll just click on customize we need to add couple of logos to make this our website truly our website right i'll go to site identity i'll select logo let me let me pick this for now you can pick any logo but i'll just pick this I'll select it or crop it maybe here and say crop image and that is my logo right you can put any logo you want you can also select a site icon I'll again choose the same as my site icon this shows up in the browser and you can see how it looks like click on crop image so this is what is shown in the browser I'm just sh showing you you can change the site title you can change the tagline right go back let's create a menu they have about and you can you can create other pages and you can create other things you can remove this if you don't need or you can add any of this go back header and footer anyway we're doing that in here static page post page we need to create a page right we'll create a blog page for that post page if you want any custom css you can put it here or you can put it in elementor itself i'll publish this i'll click here now this is just like any other elementor or any other wordpress website this is the website this is the logo all the things and you want to edit this page just click on edit with elementor and you can edit your home page let's say i just want to change this text built on elementor pro so i'll simply update this make any changes change text change images and it's that simple editing any page with elementor now you can simply click on this hamburger menu click on exit to dashboard and you'll be taken back to home page again click on this wordpress logo you'll be taken back to your dashboard you can see all your pages you need to add any page or post let's add a blog page or let's create a blog page i'll click on this make a blog page i'll simply publish this again i'll go to appearance click on customize click on home page settings and post page i'll just select blog and i'll hit publish so all your posts are displayed in here you can go back so this is your whole website in action again go back to your website visit your website this is the logo this is the menu these are the links you can edit any page by clicking on edit with elementor and you can also edit any part of header footer by clicking in here right it's that simple or you can create a new page by using elementor hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you want to see more like this head over to wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist on the channel and check out how to create websites on create a website playlist and if you want to learn elementor check out elementor basics playlist on the channel there's more like this coming soon so subscribe and stay tuned for more i'll see you in the next one peace